Welcome back to Acadian Alive. Our 2024 Remarkable Women are here right now, and we're going to find out who the winner is later on. But first, we have to meet these wonderful women. We did have four finalists. Unfortunately, one could not be with us uh, today, but we do have Miss Danae Thibault, Olivia Savoy, and Dr. Izora Proctor. And we are so excited to have you three here with us. Thank you. For having we're happy to be here. All right, and let's get to know you guys a little bit. Uh, Dr. Proctor, we will start with you. And I wanna know kind of about this experience. What did you feel whenever you received the phone call or email, whatever it was, that you had been nominated and you were a finalist? Well, when I received the phone call that I had been nominated, I was quite elated. But at the same time, thought about all the people who had made investments in me. And I said, they're the ones that should be honored, not me. However, it has been quite a rewarding experience. And uh, I'm so thankful to God and thankful to you and KLFY and everybody who had a part in this journey. And Olivia, what do you think it is that got you to this point? I'm sure you were really excited as well whenever you received the phone call. Uh, but what exactly do you think it is that you know your peers, your friends and family saw in you that uh, makes you a remarkable woman? You're gonna have to brag on yourself for a second for this one. <laughs> well, I was so honored and surprised with this nomination. And I think what maybe, I guess, got the, got the judge's attention is just the uniqueness of what mm -hmm. I do. I am a biographer, so it's just something different to yeah. work with people, grandparents usually on their books. Yeah. So perhaps it was that uniqueness and just my passion for it, my love for the people I work with. Yeah. And I do remember reading about your story. Remind us, or since our viewers didn't read, you know, your um, nomination submission. So what is it that you do? I'm a life story writer for heirloom books so that memories are never forgotten mm -hmm. and children and grandchildren get to have their grandparents' memories passed down for generations. Amazing, we love that. And Miss Danae Tebow, yes. our third finalist who is here with us today. How are you feeling about this whole experience? What is it like being here today and being one of our four finalists? I'm so honored and having met the other remarkable women, I'm just so blessed to be here in their company. Amazing women, so I'm just blessed to be here and excited. Yeah, and anyone can answer this question, but you know, moving forward, having um, you know this title as a remarkable women finalist, do you guys plan to sort of use that going forward? And maybe you know, what do you hope to uh, the message to get across to other people, maybe your peers or even younger women? For myself personally, I would like to inspire younger women who have come across. Um, things that have been challenging in their lives and, and, and inspire them to overcome those things mm -hmm. that all things are possible and you can get through it. Yeah. Anyone else? Ms. Proctor, <laughs> I know you have something. You always have such wise words to say. Well, um, <clears throat> this remarkable woman uh, title is very significant in my life because it has caused me to think Think about what I have done and also what I can be doing even in the past. So it will serve as an inspiration to me and other people that I have an impact on. And we are so grateful that we were able to chat with you three today and just have you here with us. Uh, Dr. Proctor, again, Olivia Savoy and Ms. Danae Thibault, three of our remarkable women finalists. We did have one more who unfortunately is in California, couldn't be here with us today, but all four of these women are just amazing. And we do get the chance to meet our winner for this year's Remarkable Women. Uh, so you guys stay tuned because we will find out right after the break.